welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha. I am a psychic empath and channeler. Um, so I know I've been MIA for a little bit. For those who do watch my videos um, every time I post, um, I've been just down and out. Like, I literally just, I was going to post yesterday. I literally just couldn't. Um, but today I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling like back in action. I'm feeling like shift occurred within me so I'm ready to to deliver um but so today's video um I want to do about messages um from your spirit team which includes your angels your ancestors your lost loved ones and your spirit guides and God um or whatever divine source you believe in uh, so I like every video for the most part I started off um, my channel some messages before I pulled the cards um, I have three groups and for each group there are different I pulled from different decks whatever I felt intuitively um, also I read tarot intuitively so um, the cards are just a guide they're just the storyline they are um, the hints and the validation for the messages I received from spirit um, so yeah, so my intention for this video is to just remind you about everything going on in your life right now and that you are um, being divinely guided, divinely protected, and everything is happening for you and not to you. And I just feel like we may all need a little reminder of um, the greater purpose to everything going on, good or bad. Um, so yeah, so I have three groups. Um, so just think of a number one through three and I'll put the timestamps below. And let's get right ancestors and um, divine source, God, whatever you believe in. Um, so I wrote down a channel, whatever I picked up on for each group. So for your group, um, I picked up on, I was seeing somebody with rose colored glasses. Um, and I heard, take them off. <laughs> so I don't know if you're seeing something um, in a way that's kind of like an illusion um, or you're wanting to see something a certain way and it's just like you know that um, you need to face the truth about something, something like that. Um, take that how it resonates. Um, then I got, see clearly into your heart without fear. What do you feel? So... I'm getting the feeling of um, somebody who is um, kind of putting off what they need to face, uh, putting off the truth about something, um, or facing that truth within, and um, you're, you're just facing that feeling, you're facing the feeling of it, or I mean you're fearing the feeling of it. Um, so Spirit's saying, you have a choice to make. Um, decisions so there's choices decisions here um, feels like you're under attack or you're having like bad anxiety lately and um, this is because you are kind of just like keep you're still you're just going 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 and you're not taking the time to really um, sit down and look within yourself and to face what you need you know you need to face um, it's like spirits kind of like I'm getting a vision of like spirits tapping you on the shoulder and you're like, no, 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 not right now, not right now. I, I can't do it right now. Um, like, you're like, I'm too busy. I, I can't do it. And Spirit's just like, every day. <laughs> hey, <laughs> remember me? Like, it, it's time. Hello. Um, I also got a vision of a dog. I don't know if that's significant for somebody. Again, this is a general reading, so not everything's going to fit for everybody. But um, I do pick up on, like, specific things for specific people sometimes. So... Um, if a dog is significant here, um, depression, um, warfare of the spirit. So if you are struggling with depression, um, it is not something that you can cure with medication itself or with, um, outside sources. You know what I mean? And this is something I actually came to the realization about lately, um, I struggled a very large portion of my life with depression, anxiety. I was diagnosed with how many different things. Um, I was on loads of different medications 
and um, nothing would make it better. And that's because depression, mental illness, anxiety, these are all things that are actually in association with spiritual warfare. And we think, a lot of us think that spiritual warfare is with outside sources, with outside evil, with, um, you know, evil being brought to us from outside, but really it's within us. Um, our, our demons, our weaknesses, the things that seem to be a theme in our lives are, um, that we see as our just deepest, like, just no, not this again. Like, it's just something that seems to reoccur in your life that, um, is the one thing that you just wish you can get rid of is the one thing that you just wish would never happen again. Um, and this is actually like our shadow. Our shadow is the, is the devil within us. It's, um, the one, our ego, like the one trying to hold us back from our true potential. And um, so when you go through depression and anxiety and mental illness, it's because you're struggling between your mind and your heart. You're struggling between um, what you become weak to, what you cling to um, instead of rising above it, instead of facing it, be like, you know what? You're, you don't have a hold on me anymore. I'm not feeding this negative pattern. I'm not feeding this, these negative thoughts. This isn't me. This is not me and I don't have to feed this because the more you feed it, the more you give into it, the more you don't do what you need to do because you fear this, the more you're feeding it. Uh, because if the, the evil within us, the, we all have it. We all have the evil within us. We all have that side of us within our shadow selves. We all have that. And you might not consider your shadow self evil, but this is just something I've kind of come to terms with lately i don't feel like the devil is outside of us i feel like the devil is already within us is playing on our fears is playing on our weaknesses to keep us from our full potential and that's not meant to scare you because eventually you you aren't going to fear it and it, it, it's not for you to fear like you don't have to fear because the devil fears god the devil fears um anybody who embodies god and um the more you embody God, the more you embody faith, the more you walk in faith, the more you surrender, the less your inner demons have to feed off of. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of going on a rant, but this is something I actually really, um, this is some divine wisdom I was brought to lately that um, I knew I would be sharing it in some way. And it's always, <laughs> it's always in the first group of the pick a card readings that I do. Um, so yeah. So this depression, anxiety that you're feeling is just spiritual warfare. It's you fighting with yourself. It's you fighting with your weaknesses. It's you trying not trying to do different. And in order to do that, you need to pray. You need to commit. You need to commit to yourself, to ridding yourself of the guilt that's associated with when you do slip up, when you do give in to your weaknesses. It's the guilt that keeps us held back into this state of depression and anxiety. So um, keep that in mind. And um, I was seeing a lot of roses, um, and I don't know if this was referring to ro um, some rose quartz in your life um, that's associated with the heart. I do feel like there's a lot of like heart trauma here. So I, you've been hurt a lot in your life. You've gone through a lot of um, times of just anguish. You've been hurt a lot. I can feel it. I can feel just the, the exhaustion within your heart. Um, so get yourself some rose quartz. Um, I just got one myself actually on Amazon. It's like, it was like $7. Um, I just sit with it when I feel like I need it. Um, envision it in um, meditation, like just envision yourself surrounded in rose quartz or roses might just be significant to you. You might find, find roses very, um, significant for you. Um, I was also picking up on a mother energy. So I don't know if anybody here has had a mother figure pass away, but if you have, and this sap, this is, um, resonating with you, um, this mother figure, or this could be a grandmother figure or somebody who was a mother figure in your life. 
they are coming they came through to let you know that they are with you and that they are with you in every moment and that every time you call on them they're there and that they're gu- they're guiding you and you have nothing to fear um they're a very comforting presence in your life and um i'm seeing roses again so i don't know if maybe every time you see a rose it reminds you of this mother figure um their name might have been rose so something like that um and then i heard the song you are my sunshine so that might be significant for somebody and then i also started to get a cramp in my abdomen um so i don't know if somebody is pregnant currently um or if somebody lost a child or lost a pregnancy like had a miscarriage of some sort and if you are pregnant now don't fear that you're gonna have a miscarriage that's not what no um it's just however this resonates um so if that's the case if you lost a child if you lost um a pregnancy um the soul of that child is with you and they are guiding you and they want you to know that um it was meant to happen this way even if it's so painful it it was for you still served a purpose for this child for the soul of this child and they want you to know that um they're with you and if you do want children again someday it will happen for you it just wasn't the right time and the soul of this child needed needed to come in quickly that was their they chose that they needed that to cleanse their karma in some way um so yeah so let's get into the cards oh wow okay so love the heart of love is the heart of creation all is possible through love all is worthwhile for love may all you think and feel reflect love's eternal truth Archangel Metatron, I am your link between heaven and earth, between your humanity and your divinity. I am here to help you heal the conflict that exists between your heart and mind. Feel me in your heart and thoughts. Through oneness, there is love. So again, there's a struggle going on between your heart and your mind here. And that's what's causing your anxiety and your, your fear. So for your tarot, you got strength. Yeah. You're going to get through this. Um, The high priestess, intuition, um, divine timing, divine guidance, divine wisdom. You're a strong mother effort. Like, you're strong. You've been through-ish. Like, you're going to get through this um, rough time or this rough patch. Um, Four of swords. So, reflection. Taking time out for yourself for reflection and the five of cups disappointment sad my freaking camera is being so dysfunctional today um so yeah so five of cups and then for your oracle and the funny thing is i was drawn to the to pull from this deck and there are roses on the cards um so you got star seed what lights you up transformation things are changing at a cellu- cellular level deep healing deep healing And no, wait, postpone, pause, and say no. Yeah, Um, you guys are going through a major, major, major transformation here. Um, So you're going to have a lot of ups and downs, especially with um, all the retrogrades that have been happening, um, all the energetically things have been nuts. And um, you're feeling a huge, you're feeling that. So, um... Sorry, this damn camera. So that's why you're going through this. And it's like through with your tarot here, it's like you got some really strong. These three, it's like you're taking the time to listen or need you need to take the time to listen. Um, and then it's like there's just something that you're just very disappointed about. Or something that caused you to feel guilty or something that caused you to be in a depressed state and but in the midst of that it's like you got you just need to reflect you need to just take the time for yourself that you need Um, and you're being protected and you just need to stay strong remind yourself who you are what you've been through you can get through anything you are not going to be given any trial or tribulation that you cannot get through and 
the high priestess you are the high priestess this is so you can be more intuitive so that you can be more in touch with what's going on in your life and you can be more of a an like a in an action role in your life and taking control of being an authority figure in your life going for what you want and with love it's like just all that matters is love that's all that matters all is worthwhile for love I just feel like you almost like hit rock bottom. You might have already. Um, I just feel like you just really feel like when are things gonna get better? And Spirit's just saying like, be patient. This is for, hap again, happening for you. This is happening for you so that you can um, grow. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> we grow a lot in life and um it doesn't you can't grow without some pain without some hurt without the time to look within and to know what it is that you need to face we're always evolving we're always growing and um but we're not alone even when we feel like we're alone we're not and um i'm hearing peace i feel like you need to find like some peace in your life a peaceful place a peaceful like just somewhere where you can go that you just feel at peace and you feel you feel God you feel the divine you know like whether it's the beach um, somewhere in nature just like somewhere that's secluded and um, and just go there when you feel you really need um, to feel the divine and be reminded of the peace that's within anything could be going on outside of you but within you can still have your peace and um you can still know who you are who you were made to be but be reminded of um how far you've come and that's all that matters because knowing how far you've come knowing all the things you've been through that you never thought you'd get through. You thought you weren't going to make it, and you did. That's just a reminder for you now to let you know, I got through that. I got through that. I got through that. I'm going to get through this. And um, this pain is temporary. It's temporary. And it's just a matter of you listening to your inner guidance, listening to spirit, taking the signs when they give them to you. Um, don't let them go unnoticed, you know, if something, if you know something's a sign, um, embrace that, embrace that and just smile and be like, all right, they're reminding me like, I'm not alone. I got this. I got this. I got this, you know, um, and crying is not weak. I don't know why I feel guided to say that crying is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of release. Crying is essential as somebody who always feared crying feared being weak feared looking weak um i cry all the time now <laughs> um it's just it's such a release to have just a good cry and um so spirit is really just urging you to take time to reflect and just know that things are going to get better that this is happening so that you can go to the next level. So group number one, that's your reading and your messages from your spirit team, your angels, ancestors, lost loved ones. Um, so yeah, so leave your comments below. Um, let me know if this resonated. Um, I'll leave my info for personal readings down below and I'm gonna move on to group number two. Hi, Pile Two, welcome to your uh, reading for messages from your spirit team, your guides, angels, ancestors, God or whatever you believe in so we're gonna start off with the channeled messages um, so I saw a um, vision of a piano so I don't know if that's significant for somebody rainbows um, I also saw a gold necklace um, I saw like a gold necklace with a pendant 
Um, it was on somebody's neck, but then there was one like waving. So I don't know if somebody gave you a gold necklace or um, or this because this particular group is about love, like right off bat, right off rip. This is about love. This is about somebody either you are consulting about or wanting to hear about or um, somebody you're going to meet. That's a very spiritual connection, very divinely guided connection. Um, so either they're going to give you a gift or they have. Um, also believe in miracles, fast communication from someone soon, someone you might've been waiting on or somebody you are meant to meet is coming in very soon. Um, you are on the right track, even if it sometimes doesn't feel like it. So even if it seems like nothing's happening, spirit's telling you it is behind the scenes, there's a lot happening. So just trust that trust what you feel. If you feel like, like there's things you just don't know, you don't have answers about things. It's like spirit saying, it's because you're not meant to right now. You're meant to focus on you right now. And um, the answers will come to light when, when they're meant to. Um, a, I saw a sunset and I saw, um, I got this in the last group too, which is really interesting. Um, just overwhelming peace. Just peace with yourself. Peace with um, where you are in life. Peace with your past. Um, so I don't know if you've done a lot of inner work lately on yourself it's like you finally feel a sense of peace within yourself with your life with who you are um yeah or you will meet this person when you do spend some time alone i saw 333 and i asked what they wanted this um so i don't know if you see that number a lot they said this is about beginnings that are divinely guided so 333 that's also the trinity mind body and soul everything in balance um love soulmate very spiritual connection um and good changes are occurring so like i said this group's all about love this is about a soulmate connection a very divine counterpart that is coming in to your life or if you're already with this person this is just a validation that this person is exactly what you feel it is so your love oracle cards friendship Nurture the bonds with friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. And freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. There's nothing stopping you from this union. It's it's just a matter of divine timing now. And um, friendship. So you guys, this connection could be a friendship, but I don't feel it is. I feel like it's a, it's a love connection. But you guys are also friends. You guys have that bond, that... Um, it's like everything in one, you know? Um, this could be a friend as well that you suddenly started feeling feelings for. Wow. Your tarot. The star. Wish fulfillment. Something unique. Something rare. Ace of cups. A new relationship. Mostly in love. And I know this is in love because of your other two cards. This is a gift from the universe. This is a gift um, from God. Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity, an opportunity given from the universe. The aces are all about just something being placed in your lap, something being given to you out of nowhere, an opportunity. And two of cups, like, come on. Two of cups is obviously partnerships, um, relationships, soulmates. Then for your um, oracle, polarity, integrate your shadow side. There could be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. Embrace all the parts of yourself that um, you don't like. Embrace your shadow self. Embrace all of um, your darkness. We all have inner darkness. I was talking about this in pile one. Um, we all have our inner demons that we struggle with on the daily that are constantly trying to use um, our weaknesses against us and um, be fr make friends with your shadow. Make friends with it. Don't fear it. Start being like, start hearing it out and being like, why? Like, what do you want? What is it that um, you're like, because the more you feed, the more you fear, the more you feed it. So instead of fearing it, actually talk with it. Be like, all right, let me, I'll hear you out. 
And then it's like from there on, it's like your shadow is going to be like, oh, like you're not scared of me anymore. And you're going to be like, no, what do you want? Like, I'm tired of you trying to interrupt my, my peace, my life. So what is it that you want? You know, hear it out. Don't fear it. Make it a part of you. Make it work for you. You know what I mean? Like put it, keep it in your back pocket when you need it, if that makes sense or just for experience. Um, you also got celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success and enjoy your achievements. So spirit saying, enjoy how far you've come. Don't lose sight of everything you've been through, of um, all the achievements, all the accomplishments you've had thus far. And um, I'm just hearing, I keep hearing bliss, bliss, bliss. Like you're about to enter a very blissful time. And I keep seeing the beach. I keep seeing a sunset on the beach. And I just see you with somebody that you're just like, where have you been all my life? Like finally somebody who gets me, somebody who's like me, who has depth to them, who is not all surface level, who is not trying to get anything from me, just genuinely wants to spend time with me and genuinely wants to get to know me. I just see a lot of deep conversations a lot of really hearing each other like a very equal partnership that is very give and take like it's very equal it's very respectful you guys have a respect for each other that is something you've never experienced before and it gives you no reason to question this person this person is very genuine and um i don't think you've ever experienced a connection like this in your life and it's going to totally sweep you off your feet more than you could have imagined like i feel like you definitely have dreamed about this connection for a very long time but it's not going to even come close to what it actually is it's going to be better because you've never experienced this kind of love before so it's going to be very euphoric and it's going to be like like heart fluttering like i on the feeling i have within my body right now is very like you know when you have a crush on somebody it's like it's like that, but deeper. It's not like that, that instant gratification. It's like deep. It's really deep. It's in my, the pit of my being. Like, I just feel very peaceful with it. I don't feel like, oh my God, are they going to talk to me? Are they, you know, are they going to do this? Are they going to do that? I don't feel that at all. I feel very at peace. And I feel like just a knowing that um, this person is going to come through and that this person has my best interest at heart. That's what I feel. And so you're going to feel very at peace and very calm with this person. And you're going to feel like you know them already. And it's like you already know their intentions off the jump. Like it's like no questions. It's a light. I keep seeing a lightning bolt. Like it's it's just you'll know right away. Um, I'm hearing separation. You might be separated from this person or have been for some time. You might know them already. Um, it's like. I'm seeing you and this person turn with your backs to each other. It's like you guys walked away from each other, but you had to. Divinely guided. Divine intervention. That's what I'm hearing. And um, you had to, to separate, if this applies to you, to um, clear what you each triggered in each other. Um, when you first met, it might have seemed like this is karmic. Because you guys had stuff to clear, but you came in to, you guys met when you did so that you can separate and deal with your shit. Um, you couldn't deal with it together. You had to deal with it separately. And um, you were definitely on the fast track. This person is kind of being stubborn. Um, this person's being a little more stubborn. But they're gonna get there. They're gonna get there. Like July for sure, I feel, if you know this person already, that you're definitely coming into union. Like. These cards are crazy. It's crazy. You got that star, ace of cups, ace of pentacles, and two of cups. That is like divine connection, like divinely guided connection, soulmate, divine counterpart, whatever you want to call it. This is a wish fulfillment. This is your dream love, true love, your friend. You're, this is going to be your best friend. Um, you're just, it's going to be so such a beautiful connection and it's like i just feel like you're like i don't know how this is going to happen 
and you're not meant to it's meant to be a surprise it's meant to be something you celebrate something that just kind of catches you off guard and it's like for a divine connection the universe doesn't want to do this in an ordinary way like they really want to surprise you they really want to make this worthwhile they want to make everything that you've been through worth worthwhile when it comes to this connection because this is a huge gift for you this is like lifetime partnership and um they're just saying that they really want to do this right and um so even if it seems that things are not moving they are and that's all you need to know that's all you need to know and all you also need to know is that you just need to focus on you focus on your own foundation you're planting your own seeds for your own life and continue focusing on you which i feel you are um this is just a reminder for you that this partnership is coming and if you are with this person already and you feel this divine connection like i just feel it in my stomach i feel like this this love like this just this like I can't explain it. It's a feeling that's unexplainable. It's this peace. And um, it makes me almost want to cry. Like, it just feels like I can't believe I finally met you. I finally met my person. You've been through so much when it comes to relationships. You've been through so many just the same thing over and over. And you're like, I'm just so out of place. Am I ever going to find somebody who's like me, who is worthy, who can give to me what I have to give? Like, is that so much to ask for? And this person is going to come along and you're just going to be so surprised. You're going to be like, like, I know you were made to be in my life. Like, this is just, you're not even going to want to possess them. You're, you're really going to just enjoy them their energy just brings you so much light so much peace and you just trust them almost instantly it's very interesting it's like you just don't have any fear when it comes to them your guard just melts you just melt it's just magic between you i'm trying to see if i see anything else i'm hearing something about a job so you might meet this person at this job um or through this job through somebody at a job um, or their career is very significant here I'm very drawn to the ace of Pentacles why am I drawn to this you're gonna teach this person about spirituality they want to know more that's gonna be a huge thing in your relationship you guys are gonna be very spiritual um, very um, in tune with the universe with God and that's gonna be the center of your partnership and it, that's the beautiful thing it's like everything you guys do is guided um, I feel very like like antsy like excited I just don't know I'm trying to like get all the messages out what else for a very few of you this might be a same-sex partnership for very few of you Tell me more about this connection. Traveling. You guys are going to travel a lot together. This person likes to travel. Um, experience new things together. This person's going to open your eyes to a lot of new things. And you're going to do the same. It's like this person's going to introduce you more to like outwardly things. Like more exploration. Like in the 3D. And you're going to help this person to explore themselves within um if that makes sense like their inner world like you're going to introduce them to a lot in that sense and it's like a balance you guys are going to be different but in the perfect meshing way um there's a mutual admiration here a mutual respect it's like Your differences, you in, you enjoy the differences in each other. It's never boring. This relationship will never be boring or dull. Like, you guys are just constantly laughing, constantly exploring when you are together. It's like there's no one else in the room. There's no one else in the world. It's just you two. 
um, you're just totally tunnel vision on each other. It's like you're each other's light. It's so beautiful. Like wish fulfillment. This is whatever it is that you're wishing for. What, whoever it is that you have on your mind. If you know them already and you, you really have been longing for this person or you feel like you just don't know why, you can't shake them. Spirit wants you to know it's that it's gonna you're gonna get your answers. It's gonna be what you want. It's gonna be a wish fulfillment. It's it, yeah, wow. Sorry, I'm like, the feeling I have is indescribable. I'm trying to like, what's this polar? Oh, okay. The polarity card is about the opposites attract. Opposites attract, yeah. You guys couldn't be like more opposite, <laughs> but it's, it's such a beautiful union and a beautiful mix. And it's like, you both bring different things to the table, but it works, it works. Yeah. So group number two, get ready because you're about to meet somebody very significant or you already have and things are about to be taken to the next level. So that's what spirit wants you to know. They want to remind you that this love is coming. It is for you. If it's something you truly desire, this is for you. And it's, it's like whatever you want wants you back. So just trust that and keep working on you and doing your thing. And this will happen out of nowhere. So, uh, group number two, I hope you enjoy. Leave your comments below if it's resonated. Um, I'll leave my info down below for personal, whatever you believe in, your spirit team. So, let's get into your channeled messages. So, I got people pleasing. Don't be naive. Be you. Trust your intuition and nudges on people. Uh, goals. Willing to do anything. Um, and for this, I was getting like the feeling that you're willing to do absolutely anything for your goals. Like you're willing to just cut, take shortcuts and do stuff that you wouldn't normally do. And I think spirit's telling you like, just do things patiently and with integrity. Um, don't take shortcuts, be patient and think twice, cut once, um, being protected right now because you are being, um, you're not necessarily in tune with within right now you're kind of like in this like go 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 mindset where you're you're just trying to get to that goal no matter what and um spirit's trying to slow you down a little bit so that you do things right and precisely um obstacles and challenges i heard the color yellow i was seeing um and also i feel like you're dealing with either like a boss or a co-worker or this seems like very work related um or just somebody around that's very domineering with you. Um, somebody that intimidates you a little bit. Um, or that like tells you what to do and you just don't like it. <laughs> and it's like you just feel like it's very hard to stand up to this person. And um, I had a vision when I was writing these messages down of you walking on the street. And like there's a crowd um, going the opposite direction. So it's like this. The person who was on your left literally like just as they were walking just like went like this to you like literally just staring at you and it was like an eerie feeling it was like a like it didn't feel good it was like like this person's watching you but like not in a good way like and this isn't to freak you out or anything this is might not be for everybody who picked this pile but this is very specific to somebody that um there might be somebody you're around that just you know this already you know this person doesn't have your best interest they kind of want you to do things in um that you don't want to do and you feel like you have to because this person might be your boss or might be in charge of you in some way it might be a parent um and you just feel like you have an obligation to this person and you're doing things that you don't want to do and um so spirit is telling you to listen to listen to what they're telling you those nudges um follow your intuition and 
stick to your integrity. Um, stick to what's true to you. If you don't feel comfortable doing something, you have the power to say no. And the reaction that that person has is no reflection of who you are because you're doing what's true to you and what you want to do. And that's all that matters. So for your cards, I was drawn to pull from the Love Oracle deck for you. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. Um, forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Um, sacred space. We, or gar guardian angels, surround you with emerald, gold, and rose pink light. Surrender your concerns and worries and enter the sacred space of love. And healing and for your tarot yep it's crazy you got power power knew that was that's that makes so much sense light and universe um, so the universe in this deck is like the world card and I'm feeling you need to um, complete a cycle of some sort and it might be a cycle of giving your power away to people or just being everybody's bitch, like just being told what to do, always constantly just having to be at everybody's beck and call or at one person specifically. And it's like, and you do it because you are a light. You are somebody who cares about people. You're, you know, you, you want to do things for people, but people are taking advantage of you and spirits are telling you to just listen to that gut. Like if you don't feel like you should be helping somebody out don't like if you don't feel guided to do something don't simple simple you don't have to think twice about it like not well they they this they that no if you don't feel guided to do it don't that's it period um but spirit is definitely saying like to be in your power and to know that you have the power to say no you have the power to say no to anybody it doesn't matter what position they are um, who they are in your life you have that power at the end of the day we're all human beings they are not better than you in any way even if they have a higher rank in your job doesn't matter you have the power to say no you have the power to stand up for yourself and if they fire you so what you weren't it obviously it's like not a good position for you anyway like for you to have to give up your power for you to have to give up your integrity to be there no sorry I'll find something else like just don't worry about that the universe got you um, you're taken care of you will be especially if you choose to leave this job or this position I definitely am getting a strong job vibe like this feels like there's just some shady stuff going on and it's like you see it but you have to keep shut about it and um, you don't want to like you it just doesn't feel good to you in your soul and it's like spirits telling you to just do what's best for you and you will be taken care of always. If one day you just go in and you're like, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. The spirit spirit got you. Like if you feel guided to do something, do it. Like no matter what. Um, I feel like I should share this experience with you. So recently, so I moved to Florida in March, literally two days before everything shut down. So I moved down here, had an interview at a club. So I'm a bartender. So um, I had an interview at a club and got the job that day. Next day, everything shut down. So I was then quarantined um, for three months like everybody else. Um, and so this club in particular, they eventually they decided to um, bring us in for me and the other girls that were hired to start training. And... Um, as I was there, I just, something started to feel off to me. I just started to feel like, I just don't want to be here. This just doesn't feel like the right opportunity for me. They were very rigid. They wanted things done a certain way. And I've been bartending for a very long time. So I feel like I'm at a point in that part of my life that I just want to kind of have free reign. I don't want to be told what to do, how to do things when I kind of have my own way of doing things. Um, I wanted a more freer environment and a more laid back environment and this just didn't seem like the right opportunity for me anymore um it did at one point and then i started getting like and so after a couple days of going in for training i was like you know what like it was just heavy on my mind like anxiety of having to go back 
And I was like, I, I don't think I can do it. And I felt guided to um, tell them I didn't have any backup or anything. And I'm not saying to do this if you don't feel guided to do this. But um, I'm very in touch with my guides and angels and stuff. So I just felt like this is something I had to do. Um, I messaged them and was like, hey, like, um, I don't think I'm going to continue with this club. Like, I'm going to, um, I have another opportunity. I didn't. Um, I was actually going to do like Instacart or like Uber or something like that. I was, that was my plan. And, um, they were like, okay, like no problem. And I felt like a huge weight off me. I felt like, okay, I felt that this wasn't the right opportunity for me. I let it go. And the universe said, God said, I will take care of you if you do this. Like, that's what I felt. And, um, so after that, um, it was like a week. I woke up one morning and I was like, I feel like I should... I feel like I should look on line for another job. So I was looking and I found this other club. And um, so I applied, got an interview, went in and um, I just kind of like was thrown in and I felt comfortable almost instantly. And it was a complete difference with the people I'm around and everything. It's still a bartending job is not what I want to do, but it's like, it's a good bartending job for me because I do have free reign and I feel a lot more comfortable there. So it's like, and it was just inspired action. Like it was just one morning I just felt inspired to go look. And right away I found this job. Um, so I came down here thinking I was going to be working one place. But then Spirit had another path for me, another opportunity for me that was better. So the point is, if you feel like you are just being boggled down by this job, it is like you just can't do it another day. Um, go with your gut. If you feel like you need to just let it go and then you can spend your time looking for something else, do it. Like, I, I know that's not like the typical advice people would give. But if you feel guided to do something, regardless of how illogical it seems, you're being guided to do it for a reason and you will be taken care of. Um, as long as you put the work in, obviously, and like listen. and um, But... It's like the heart is not logical. Your soul and spirit, that realm, the 5D is not logical. So that's the point of sorry. Your integrity um, for a job that you hate, it's not worth it. So I feel like that's the main message here is just to not give up your power to people and to know your worth and know that you deserve um, somewhere that you feel comfortable and you deserve to also have a voice. Um, you're, you know, these domineering people are not the only people that are allowed to speak. You're allowed to speak too. So just recognize that you're equal to everybody. Um, so yeah, so leave your comments below if this resonated. Um, and I hope everybody has a good rest of their day and I'll see you guys next time.